it's me, Dave. Oh, hello. Nice to see you. Um, I'll just turn the game off. I suppose you're wondering what you've been seeing while you've been walking around here, watching me playing uh, video games, Martin tinkling around on the... Um, Joanna. On the Joanna. And Ian sat over there, fast asleep. Well, we're <laughs> Heaven 17, and we're writing a new album. Uh, the business that I'm doing here is, of course, very important. I'm giving Martin inspiration here to tinkle away and get good songs going. Oh, uh, Glenn, I'll, I'll do it. Right. I'll carry on the basic there. process we use is a lot different to the average group. We're not really um, standing get, around the piano. Back? What? How do you get this band back? You press shift and break together. Oh, right. It's not the same as uh, the average group where you stand around the piano and you wait for inspiration to come. Inspiration never really comes, you see. That's why we need all this technology. So, uh, basically, this is a digital recorder. Uh, it sounds like a I'd birth, I know this. But this is a digital recorder, which enables me to put three or four lines down at a time of a song, which is a simple arrangement, and allows me to, uh, to uh, formulate the song in a very, very simple manner. And then when we get into the studio, it changes completely anyway. So uh, we just input the chords, basically. It's chord structures that we're doing here. So uh, that's it from me. I'm the over to the sleeping partner of the relationship, uh, Mr. Marsh. Hi there. Well, as you can see, I'm browsing through loads of really boring literature here, which is uh, basically a lot of bills for the last album, because uh, recording can be quite yeah. expensive business, right. as you can see from some and things here, studio space, bills. And I'm just making sure we don't make the same mistakes right. next time and uh, do it a bit more economically this time around and get our money's worth. <coughs> Here we are. <coughs> Back again. Heaven 17. This time we're in Air Studios. The last time you saw us, we were in Martin Ware's house, which is all oh, as nice as Air Studios. Probably nice. Not as big, though. Not as big. And uh, here you see the uh, little Cassia tone keyboard. The one you saw earlier. We're working on earlier on and writing songs. As you can also see, we've progressed quite a way and we've got a lot of the songs down on tape and we're actually at the stage of writing lyrics. And here, strewn across the floor, are thousands of worthwhile uh, lines and uh, lyrics and sentences that we use as springboards to write our lyrics. Springboards. Now, you remember the, um, you remember the computer that Glenn was playing on earlier in this piece? Well, in fact... <clears throat> I've got a printer for it, and what I do is I employ my wife to uh, type up. I dictate lots of things from books into this thing, like this. Hello, here comes the monkey, lines like that. And then she types them up alphabetically, down here, and uh, they get printed out. So therefore it makes it a lot better than reading my handwriting, because nobody can read mine apart from mine. And then what we do is, myself. when we're at this stage, we lock ourselves in a little room like this, make ourselves as comfortable as possible. Uh, we're here with a couple of rough mixers on the tape. We sit in here, we decide on a title first from one of these, and we decide what it's going to be about. And then we proceed and we just kind of sit around and like throw lines at each other yeah. like, uh, you know, uh, catastrophe theory, which is like really crap. And, and uh, splendid first strike, which is a military term. That's yeah. not going to get used either. We'll read you a couple that aren't going to be used. Like, um... Like bird dog gets drunk. Like bird dog gets drunk. And, uh, the full biblical treatment, which uh, probably won't find a home this time round. Uh, the Holy Kitchen is one of my favourites. Uh, how about, there, yeah. uh, what do you mean your bird won't sing? I don't think that's going to get used either. But you see what we mean, we use these as, as springboards to uh, help us along with the lyrics. This is the one that you heard in the background there was the one we're actually working on at the moment. 